Hey everyone, this is Kyle Norman. I'm the 3D printing application expert here at MLC CAD Systems, and let's talk about 3D printer justification. So 3D printing is constantly getting faster, smarter, and stronger, but the question is, does it make sense for your company to buy and operate a printer in-house? Let's go through three ways that we typically establish a business case for a Mark Forge printer. The first, and by far the easiest, is the ROI calculator on markforge.com. You know, it has many common industries and applications along with a cost and lead time estimate to manufacture these parts traditionally. I love how many ideas they present so you can see what other companies are successfully printing to help you figure out what kinds of applications you might want to use the machine for. You set your expected quantities and customize the values and a report and recommendation is prepared and sent to you for review. My only beef with this ROI calculator is that it is really easy to use but it tends to look for a single magic bullet part or application to create a full ROI. If you can find an ROI with a single type of part, that's great, but you may have to combine a few of these to get your ROI. And it's inevitable that once you have a printer in-house, you'll be swimming in ideas to use it and add additional value to that original ROI. I do think it's amazing just how fast you can establish an ROI, even on a single part. If you're skeptical of magically generated graphs and charts and need to control every input and assumption yourself, you can take the MarkForce platform for a test drive with your parts. Well, virtually at least. You could do this using a free Iger account. Iger is the slicing and management software for the MarkForge platform, and anyone can create their own account and even build up an organization before you invest in a printer. So first you upload files, then browse and configure materials, reinforcement, and that outputs an accurate part price and part time in just minutes. Not only does this allow you to put realistic numbers into your ROI spreadsheet, but I find this is especially helpful to strike while the iron is hot. Memories of hot jobs and long delays tend to fade over time, but if you can be ready with a concrete solution at the time the need is identified, it actually hits differently. So prototyping on a CNC machine requires programming, purchasing stock, possibly fixture design to hold it, all coming from very expensive people for a design that may not be proven or that you only need a couple of. By contrast, you can set apart with the strength of aluminum to build lights out while you work on other things and leave production alone to keep making money. The third approach you may want to consider has less to do with a concrete ROI for one or more parts and more to do with aligning with the company goals. What big problems are you trying to solve or improve in your organization? Reduced lead time? Better responsiveness? The ability to deliver custom or customized parts? What new products or efficiencies could you gain if you took most of the prototypes, oddball parts, and one-off parts as well as fixtures from the machine shop and ran them through an automated printer. How much faster could you iterate and how much money would you save if you weren't constantly waiting on prototypes from external vendors? Are you considering a big purchase like adding another CNC machine? Maybe a less expensive 3D printer can help free up capacity on the existing machines and help scale up their productivity with a complementary technology. Whatever your approach may be, MLC CAD Systems is ready to help. Contact us anytime to help you through the process. Thanks for joining me today.